All right, this is just a little test of my mini flash circuit here. What I'm basically doing is tying two outputs together to one LED, and of course using a current limiting resistor you can see there. So basically what the program looks like, um, you can see the top row is basically all on. Um, the bottom, you know, the first channel is all on. This next channel, channel two, just has a couple of flashes there. And if you can see on the controls, the all on is set for sort of like around the middle position, the dash, star, star, dash. And then the uh, second channel that's only going to flash is set for the endpoint star, dash, dash, star. So what we're hoping to do here is just to see if this LED will react properly if those two outputs, output number one and two, are tied together to the same LED. Um, Got to remember, though, that the common on the LED is actually the positive. So basically what we're doing is switching the negative side high and low. So it's actually not an issue just by the design of using NPN transistors. And as you can see, uh, on my transmitter here, on the far side, I'm up high. You can see it's just flashing. If I go way down to the bottom side, um, it's still just flashing, and that's that channel too. Then if I go in the middle, or around near the middle, you'll see it stays on. Um, and that's where it is, like in the middle. So between a quarter and three quarters, it will stay on. And then if I go any higher, then from three quarters any higher, it flashes. Hmm. Flashes on both ends, but it's on solid in the middle. And I believe that was what a customer was looking for to see if you could actually connect two outputs uh, of the mini flash together to one LED. And uh, I've been running this for a little while here. Nothing's uh, warming up, and it shouldn't because um, the NPN transistors actually act as a uh, diode. Um, so when one is powered, it doesn't feed back into the uh, circuit. Pretty slick. So that answers the question. At least I hope it does. That's it.